Hi, I'm Randy Schultz, the Gardening Grandpa, and today we're going to talk about seeds. You've gone to the garden centers and the big box stores and bought little starter plants for your vegetable garden. It's kind of expensive sometimes. So today we're going to talk about how easy it is to start from seed. It's much cheaper and seeds might be a little bit, I don't know, different for you, right? Uncomfortable if you haven't grown them. We're going to talk about everything you need to know is usually on the seed packet and we're going to walk you through what that information is, get you started growing your plants from seeds and saving a lot of money. So one of the things I want to show you, and it's real obvious when they're all set out like this, these are standard size seed packets, right? Um, there's two sides to a seed packet. The front side, they're going to tell you who it's from, they're going to show you and tell you what kind of plant it is. All right, the front side is the selling side. It's the, the side with the pretty illustration or photo of the, the plant that you're planting. And in the case of vegetables, what you see is the mature vegetable either ready to harvest right off the plant or already harvested. Sometimes you'll see days to harvest. Okay, that's nice to know, but it's usually also on the back of the seed packet. Now on the back, that's where you get into the growing information. We've got three Swiss chards here. I want to flip these over so you guys can see, right? Sometimes the seed packets do not look the same on the back. These two look a lot more like each other than this one does. This one doesn't have the little map of the US. It's got this little flap here with additional information uh, underneath. So the information can be presented in very different ways. One of the first things you know on the back of this seed packet is the little map of the US. This one and this one over here, basically the same uh, illustration. What this shows you is the southern parts of the, the country are going to plant far earlier than the northern parts of the country. Uh, they have much longer growing season down here than up here. This is a really good guide to let you know the, the month or two when it's okay to plant the seeds. Now in the case of this, I probably shouldn't have put this one out here. This is not a vegetable. Although it is something I really want to grow this season in my garden. I just hope I have the space for it. So I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, this is the kind of container that I store my seeds in. It's a, a plastic resealable container. It's not Tupperware. It's the dollar store version. I'm kind of cheap sometimes. But the point is, it seals well. It keeps the moisture out. You want to store your seeds in a cool, dry place, right? It'll help with the germination rates over the years as, as your seeds get older because I buy a lot of seeds and I don't plant them right away. I'm still going to use them but when I do use those older packets I'm going to plant more seeds because they're not all going to germinate. But a simple container like this, like I said, I bought this at the dollar store um, but it's a great way to store your seeds. And I'm Randy Schultz, the Gardening Grandpa. Please like us on uh, Facebook Go to all of our social media pages, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check back periodically. We've always got new stuff out. Go to Home Garden and Homestead for way more content. Um, and, and let us know what you think.